with Kevin Feige bringing Moon Knight into the MCU or opening up a new door into the supernatural. We found out this week who one of the primary antagonists is going to be for the show and is a supernatural villain very familiar to Marvel Comics. Hang out and let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and today we're going to talk a little bit about Moon Knight. But first, make sure you get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away a copy of Secret Wars. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Now, like we said, Marvel has a bunch of irons in the fire, and one of those irons in the fire is Moon Knight. It looks like to me, this may actually become some sort of supernatural showpiece for Marvel Studios. Because the news this week is that Dracula will be a villain in the show. Now, it's still unclear what level of a villain. Dracula has actually appeared in Marvel Comics quite a bit. And if you watch some of the recent cartoons, he was one of the main antagonists in Avengers Assembled. But right now, it's unclear whether he'll be the main villain of the show or show up as a cameo. Either one is pretty interesting. And both lead to sort of a springboard for another Marvel character that we know is coming, Blade. Now, you cobble this with other information that we already have, because we actually know that Werewolf by Night is joining Moon Knight on this series. And this leads us right to Midnight Sun. At this point, we have about half the roster. Throw in Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange, and all of a sudden, you pretty much have a full team. Vikings teased us with a lot of new characters coming to the Multiverse of Madness, and we very well could fill in some of the slots for the Midnight Suns from that movie. I personally think Ghost Rider may show up there. Marvel's recent interest in Ghost Rider and some of this other news about Midnight Suns all to me seem to point to one thing, that team-up movie. And Dracula may be the perfect villain for that. I suspect, even though the rumor is unconfirmed, that this will be a small appearance of Dracula, probably one episode in the series, allowing us to establish his existence in the Marvel Universe as well as Blade. Then eventually using him in a Loki-style role where he takes on a whole team of heroes as he's been supercharged by some other outside force. I mean, it's magic in the Marvel Universe. Almost anything could happen. Dracula actually made his first appearance in Marvel Comics way back in April of 1972 in Tomb of Dracula number 1. Now, everyone knows he was created by Bram Stoker, but he was developed for comics by Jerry Conway and Gene Colan. I've been a fan of Moon Knight for quite a while, and although I love the supernatural aspects of the character, I hope they don't get totally caught on that side of the fence for Moon Knight. There's some classic vigilante justice-style tales involving the character, and if we get too caught up in monsters and werewolves and vampires and all that kind of stuff, I worry the general public will lose some of the things that are really great about the character because they'll never get a chance to be portrayed. We'll have to wait and see on that front, but I'm really curious if you guys are actually comfortable with what they're doing with Moon Knight and you like the idea of Dracula being the main villain. Make sure you sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates.